Alrighty, welcome back everybody to another episode, part two of Hogwarts Legacy. Today we are finding our way through our common room. We are probably going to do a couple classes, uh, which should be pretty fun. But yeah, we're going to start out here in the common room. I believe you can literally go in, in every single one of these rooms, uh, which is pretty awesome. Like, they're all built, which is awesome. And uh, some of them have these chests that require some locks, uh, which I guess we'll come back to. Um, but yeah, let's uh, figure out what we got to do. We got to find the common room right now. Should be fairly easy. Here it is right here. I, and this is so, so beautiful looking too. This is amazing. Wow. I really like this. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's talk to a couple people here. This is Lenora. Let's we'll see what she has to say. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. I am. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Sure, I'm not worried. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly... out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. I'm sure you are. Sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. What does that even <laughs> mean? people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. I do. I have to save the world. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Sounds like it. All right, well, nice, nice to meet you. you Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Well, let's meet the other uh, two players here. We got a Adelaide and Arthur. So uh, let's grab an apple first. That's the exit, I think. All right, let's check out Adelaide here. See what hey, she has Uncle, to say. This doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. Um, where did you put that paper? Yeah? <laughs> I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you too. Is everything all right? Wow, what is oh, yes. what's wrong with his voice? Letter from my uncle. His voice is so, so weird. Sorry. I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Uh, you know, I don't want to brag That's about true. it though. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Mm. Nothing to worry about. I'm sure, yes. I'm sure. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Thank you. Arthur's got you. It's all right. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. <laughs> Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Hmm. I'm I think they're pretty incredible, that. though. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Not a puff skein. Alright, that's alright. Nice good luck, you, Arthur. Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. 
I'll try not to. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Are you, yeah, I'm right here. Are you talking behind my back? <laughs> you could just tell me. All right, let's go. Here we go. Hello, Mrs. Weasley. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. Mm -hmm. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Very good. Is it this book? Here you are. Wow. Don't mind me while I lose all of the pages. <laughs> what is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Yeah, sure, let me just Thank hide you, it in my pocket. What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Sounds like a plan. You've uh, been practicing. I'm gonna break that pot first though. I hate pots. This way. <laughs> Alright. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about Revelio. the law. I'm gonna definitely get this chest first. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I am. I'm bloody right here. Is this something? Got it. House Elf Recipe Book. Ooh. Alright. Uh, you guys can't see it, but I am level one. It's behind my picture, unfortunately. But Alright, let's open up our field guide. Yep, uh, we got some XP. If we could look at the challenges, it tells us here, blah blah blah. We gotta make sure that we claim these challenges. Oh, that's good. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the car. Lumos. Wow, look at that lighting. That's beautiful. Rebellion. Alright, let's get ah, this flu flame. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Will do. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, over here. Out of view of the blue flames. Blue green ones means you've discovered them. Gray ones you haven't. Perfect. The right side of the map is where you find the academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Pretty sure that's the left side. Where's the one I'm gonna go in the annex? And the central hall. So far, pretty good tutorial, I'd say. Um, I like this little field guide book. I think that's pretty cool. And here we are, quite the time saver. Wow. The stairs lead directly to central hall. Wow. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from central hall. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Always 
something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. All right. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Yeah, I know. Accidentally lost them. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A oh, mastery of Defense great. Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever gifted Professor aura. in charge of our students' education in that regard. Right. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. I hope so. With alcohol. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. What's that like hey, ring of He's light that comes out of her when she talks? To the events preceding your arrival, That's really weird. Specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My yeah. suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. That's all there is. Hmm. That's all it is. I'm telling you. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. No, it's not. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Mm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. I mean, I would imagine it's pretty straightforward. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. What? Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Sounds good. All right, Professor Fig, what's it's up? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Uh, I didn't like to lie to her, though. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for hey. now. We don't want, know where I want that letter we've embarked upon will lead. I want that flying letter. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, 
And so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Sure thing. Oh, I guess in the... the let's, uh... Let's move this WD-40 out of the camera there. You guys don't need to know that I drink WD-40. Alright, let's open up the map. <laughs> Alright, all right. so we got the main quest, complete the main quest, uh, further the story, unlock new features, blah blah blah, some quests are locked by spell or level requirements, yep, yep, yep. Alright, let's do the, uh, let's do the dark arts one first, seems like a good one. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful, thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right. Oh, let's let's get going. I wish I could get this. <laughs> All right, uh, let's work on some chests, shall we? Oh, there's two in there. I'm going to have my own telescope. All right, let's just uh, let's just head out. Uh, let's get this blue flame here. That would be handy. Useful. All right, we are in the defense against the dark arts tower. What did I hear about rule breaking? You're at school to learn, not to <laughs> frolic around like a like a well, like a muggle. <laughs> Revelio. Oh, of course. Why are there so many locks? Not a one of them deserves more than a tea. I right, got that. Anything up here we can get? Oops. Feel like I'm gonna be doing Revelio against like everything. Oh, here's another flu flame. That's good. Get that. You can't imagine Revelio. how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. All right, let's just get in there. Here we go. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Well, Let me Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. I bet it's just because you know how to levitate to wise, things. To age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned. Hey, it's Start Arthur. With something small. Didn't even realize that. All right, here we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Levioso. Now. 
Let's try something a little larger. Do 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 do. Yeah, we didn't need those. Those were in the way. Clearly. All right. Let us begin with the basic cost. I bet it's B. Oh. Oh. Oh, it didn't See work. How the dummy deflected your cast. I did. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. All right, here we go. Remember, good. Now, well done. Well done. Well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Will do. Here we go. Hut! Hut! Levioso, Protego. I know. This can't be your first duel. It's not. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Protego. Levioso. That was so easy. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. That was so <laughs> easy. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Easy. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Well, thank you. Glad to have the opportunity to Let's practice. Let's get some points. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Yeah, they're Understood, <laughs> Professor. Grindelows, so, for I'd sure. I advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. Sounds That's good. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Hello. I'd hate to face Professor Hedley on the field. All right, there was a. Is there a chest in here? Nope, no chest. Wait. Nice work. Oh, it's up. Protego. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Well, thank you. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice. <laughs> it felt more like I was dueling an expert. Uh, oh, Sebastian yeah. Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. No, I've never used a wand before. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? Oh, that doesn't I sound right. Know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, yes, they are. To keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. <laughs> Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Sure, yeah. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. I'm sure it'll probably be on my mini-map. <sighs> Till next time. Okay. That was fun. Alright. Off on another adventure of Rebellion. Yes, we are. All right, well, so we gotta go up. I kind of want to just explore a little bit. Like this is crazy. Uh, 
A muggle repelling charm. <laughs> Alright, let's go up here. Let's see what's up here a little bit, you know? What's in here? What's this? Wow. Whoa, okay, I don't want to go out this way. Let's go back in. Rebellio. Oh, there's another uh flu flame. Let's get that. It's always good to get those. Oh, sorry. There's a cat. It was an accident. All right. Oh, this has got to be something, right? It's nothing. All right, let's head on up. This is the way it wants me to go, so. Is this building? Hey, there's some bathrooms. Hey, a chest. Hey. Someone using this? Okay, that's better. Hey, you know what? We got a robe. Let's check that out. Uh, gear. Cloak. Oh, look at that. Gives us two offense. I will put it on. Oh, that's that looks amazing. Yes, please. All right, good to go. Uh, yeah, let's actually get this thing because I know it's yeah we got legendary gloves. Awesome. We're still working on the cape. All right, let's head on over to this. We got some spectacles. Nope, don't have that yet. All right, so let's actually go back to the gear. Should have hand gloves. Yeah, there. Wait. How do we get the other ones? I don't understand. I like gloves, though. We'll put the gloves on. Oh, yeah. That looks good. What are these collections? Oh, way too much. Oh. I'll figure that out in, you know, my own time here. We're not, we don't need to go through that. <laughs> oh, there's a... Well, I don't know if that's... That looks like a big chest. Can't get that. But there's a flu flame right here, which is nice. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be here. Who are you? Who are you? Who's talking? Oh, here's the chest. Dude, you gotta be looting, you know? Ooh, look at that. Oh! Oops. <laughs> I just knocked over all those books. <laughs> That's a neat little, neat little Rebellion. touch. All right. Oh, what's this? Oh, I got you. This is Professor Fig's office. All right. All right. Were well, there stairs over here? No. All right. Let's head back. Up the stairs. All right, let's uh, let's see what's up here. Tends to go Rebellion. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Yeah. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Oh, we got another flu flame. Excellent. Werewolves, where were you in the Goblin Rebellion of 1752? And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Root. Okay. No, it wasn't. Can't do any of that. Oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbye. Let's uh, yeah, let's let's head into the classroom and get this one going. See what it has to give us, you know. Making good progress. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> I have not. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks 
to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Um, anyone? The letter anyone? A. The letter A. Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, do you yeah. even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Probably don't want to say that. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right. Accio. Do 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 do. Akio. That is not bad. You are a sweet I mean, learner. I'm pretty good. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. After me. <laughs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? Right. <laughs> so. What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> right. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm for the last possible. Splend! Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Very good. Excellent control there. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Sure, yes, sure. And I, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come yeah. on up. Bring it on. You All right. the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Clear. Yes, sir. Wish you could go at the same time. Let us see this. Hey, come on. You're in my you're in my way. Get out of here. Oh boy. There we go. She's off to a good start. I don't want that one. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's it. Here we go. Oh, you're not going to hit mine, are you? Oh, you cheap. Come on now. I still think you can hit each other's off. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh, that's not fair. Hit your little off. Come on, hit it off. Alright. I have to knock hers off here. Garbage. I hit hers off twice. 
<laughs> Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Uh. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Look at all these people watching over here. Focus now, you will need it. This round settles it all. Let us give it. Wow. There we go. That was terrible. Alright. All right, one down, Natty. What are you gonna do about it? That's pretty good. That was terrible, that was terrible. Oh, that got lucky. Quite impressive. Thank you. Watch this. Uh, this is my only shot right here. This is how it's done. Get up here. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Two perfect rounds. You're a natural. Oof. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like to say I'm pretty good at this. good both of you well done now we just have to go talk to Positive professor things. weasley yeah, things on the way out. good game back there i must admit i think i underestimated you took me weeks to become proficient with akio took weeks for me to get anything right when i transferred here mm. it gets easier i promise that's good to hear it's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. No. Oh. My parents were just in Uganda. That's kind of cool. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Hmm. What does Wagadu look is like? Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts. Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Mm. I remember the first time I saw it, mm. the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Then why doesn't to mention, anybody use a wand? To one is without their wand. <laughs> I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Sounds good. Rebellions. You can use Akio on humans. If you're so inclined. Well, okay. you a word you to be precise, Sebastian. Well, you know it won't work on you. <laughs> you wanted to speak with me, <laughs> Professor. I did. 
I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Okay. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Very good. Alright. Alrighty righty. Alright, there's no chest in here. Alright. Hello wow. there. You're the new student, aren't you? I am. Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. It wasn't challenging. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. I would well, say that was not to my charms homework. <laughs> I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Good for you. All right, now where are we going? Let us do this one. Uh, let's go to the map. Let's figure out where we gotta go. All right, let's go here. All right. Um, no, I actually want to look at this one. All right, this is another one of there. Uh, I didn't go up this tower. I don't know. Honestly, might as well just uh, might as well just go up there. Maybe there'll be some more uh, more things to get. Wait, why are you telling me to go that way? I'm going this way. I want to go up this hill. Here we go. Rebellion. What's that? What are you supposed to do with this? Hey, there's a paper. How do I get that paper? I want the paper. Was it right in here? Oh, it is. Get over here, paper. Oh, nice. I got them all in this area. Cool. Alright, let's go back up here. Don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Not that. Alright, up we go. Rebellion. Do, 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 do. Alright, well, we're still going up. It's pretty high up here for the astronomy tower. Which, just to let you know, it told me to go the other way. Oh, I guess that would have been, yeah, that's true. Uh, let's not go up there. How nice to see you, my young friend. What's this? Oh, that's a lot of stuff to read. That's alright. Rebellion. Oh. I guess it was probably that. Alright. Let's fast travel on down to the place we're supposed to be at. <laughs> Alrighty, let's uh, go up to here. Let's go down to there. Let's travel there. Yeah, that's not bad. Alright. Oh, there's a thingy. The Wyvern... Wyvern? Wyvern Fountain? Hello, kitty. All right. That's a lock. Can't go in there. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. All right. Mind. 
let's get this uh, last quest here, and then I think that will call it a day for this part. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Mm. Perhaps you could help. Room of requirement, probably. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They Awkward. did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? No, still not. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, oh. you must continue to yeah, build upon what you've out. learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Man, I don't want extra assignments. Or work. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. Hmm? You'd be astonished okay. to know <laughs> just how much you don't know. Sorry. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand. That's going to be pretty cool. Superior. I will take a brand new wand for sure. Um, tell me about Can the potion shop. More about the potion shop, Professor. Jade yeah. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Okay. What's I've a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? What, is that? what does that even mean? Is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Okay. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Sounds good. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. In the I next episode. You make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Ooh. Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yeah, no. I think I'm going to go with the Slytherin guy. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad I to think, hear it. I think he's pretty cool. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll Very keep good. you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather Rookwood. unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. Okay. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Very good. Rebellion. Anything over here? Oh, it's right here. Ooh. <laughs> what was that? Well, that was that was kind of cool. I don't know. You got any chests in here? In there? Can I unlock that? <clears throat> oh, what's this? There is a chest. Sorry, Professor Weasley, I just kind of took your money there. Hope you're okay with that. Wait, what's this? Trolls. Alright. Let's, uh... Oh, God, I don't know what to do. This episode's uh, becoming a little longer than I would have liked. Um, let's do this one quest here to get Revelio. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly oh. useful one at that. Not the mending Revelio. charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, 
Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why do I have to do extra tasks? Must I must first complete tasks to learn Rapero. No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Oh, fine. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. What do I have to do? Uh... This is the right area. Got it. Got it. Was that it? Oh. Alright, let's go get the other one. A flying page must be around here somewhere. There it is. Brilliant. They didn't make it difficult enough. I trust the preliminary tasks were I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. Very, very quickly. You clearly know your way around basic charms. <laughs> Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? All right, let's do Remember it. Remember <laughs> to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm ready. Remember, your wand is <gasps> conduit of the... Uh, go, vigor, vigor, more vigor. Keep doing the vigor. Here we go. It's catching me. Hurry. Uh, okay. That was pretty good. I did it. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, how to go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water? Okay. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Repair. Perhaps a guilty lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. That's pretty cool. What are you supposed to do with these? Why can you throw at them? Alright, now what? Is that it? That might have been it, guys. Yeah, it does look that way. Alright, that's the next thing we're doing. We're going to Hogsmeade. Alright, we're going to save that for the next part, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, Please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed again. Um, be sure to check out the next part. Don't know when it'll come out. I'm trying to space these out maybe every other day, every couple days, maybe one a week. I don't know yet. Um, we're actually going on vacation next week. So uh, I won't really be able to put out much at that point. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed again. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and we will see you later.